Hello and welcome to another edition of Ontology Talk. I'm Adam Pease and today I want to talk about coffee, uh, specifically espresso coffee. There's a link below that shows the URL for the Sigma browser which will let you know uh, where you can type in the terms that we'll see. We start off with the term for machine, a generic term that covers the notion of coffee machine. Next, we have here an action or a process in sumo terminology, the notion of combining. We're going to be combining these various pieces of the porta filter uh, with the machine itself. As part of uh, combining things, we're going to put things in a certain location. So another process that we can look at in sumo is the notion of putting. Uh, we're also actually removing things at the moment from the, the uh, tray of the machine. First step here to really getting started is turning on device. So the notion of turning on a particular machine. And once we do that, then it is going to go through the process of heating. Uh, it's the opposite of cooling, obviously, as you can see from the uh, browser. Uh, we're also going to be cleaning the machine by letting some water run through it. Uh, water is yet another term. Uh, the water is moving, so we have the process of water motion. And we want the machine to warm up for a while. It's not going to be an entire hour duration. It's actually going to be a few minutes, say a half hour. We could let it warm up for an hour. We need to weigh the beans, so we have the relationship weight, the relationship between a unit of measure, a particular measure, and uh, an object that's being weighed. To do that, we use a measuring device, in this case, a scale. Uh, it's a kind of device. There are lots of devices in Sumo. We're weighing out coffee beans. Beans are food from a plant. They're a certain kind of fruit. They have various properties. We're going to measure things in grams. So Sumo has a lot of different units of measure, all of the English units as well as the standard international units. Here we're going to be separating the beans into little pieces using my coffee grinder. So we have the term for separating. It's a dual object process. We wind up with two objects and we start actually with two objects. We have the substance being divided and we have some sort of uh, mechanical device or physical device that's going to be doing the separating. When I tamp the coffee grounds and try to make them level, we wind up with a level shape. It's a shape attribute, an attribute that a shape can have in a certain period of time. Uh, to do that, I rotate uh, the leveler and then I use a tamper. When I'm using a tamper, I'm doing the action of compressing. It's a kind of motion uh, that uh, brings components of something closer together. Uh, compressing has lots of uses, as you can see. You can explore those if you wish. Then we're going to attach the porter filter to the machine. Uh, so the attaching process is the relevant process again. We're going to run the machine for a certain period of time. So we have a way of expressing intervals of time in Sumo. Time interval is a function that turns two time points into an interval. It, or it really declares or denotes uh, that interval, quite different from a function in a programming language. Uh, we're going to put the coffee into a drinking cup. It's a kind of fluid container. The coffee is going to be pressurized uh, as it comes out, about nine bars pre uh, pressure. I use a switch device to turn on the scale and the timer. Again here we have liquid motion, the, the motion of the liquid coffee or espresso going into the cup. Uh, we have a very minimal de definition of espresso at this point. Uh, certainly would like to elaborate that in the future. It takes, uh, in this video, 33 seconds. So we have a notion of the second duration. It's another uh, unit of measure, a, a unit of duration in this case. As I move on to frothing the milk, I'm producing steam, or the sh machine is producing steam in order to froth the milk. Uh, we do some more cleaning here. Uh, we use a towel in part uh, to do that cleaning. The towel is a kind of fabric that absorbs liquid. And we bring the steam in contact with the milk. Milk is a beverage. It's a liquid body substance. It comes from a cow. Uh, and it's room temperature. Uh, at room temperature, it's a liquid. Uh, cream is also a uh, subtype of, of milk or milk product. 
So here I am steaming the milk. It takes a little while. Uh, and this is a process of aerating. I'm putting bubbles uh, into the milk. So I'm combining a substance with air uh, as well as with steam. But in this case, uh, really a lot of it is, is the air the steam is forcing into the milk. And next, I think we're going to do some cleaning here again. So still that uh, cleaning or removing term that we saw previously as we try to get the milk debris off of the steam wand. In order to pop some of the big bubbles that are in the frothed milk, I'm going to do some impacting. You'll see in here in just a moment. Um, and then once we've uh, shaken the milk around, popped all those big bubbles, uh, we get on to pouring as I try to combine the milk with the espresso and make a rather amateurish attempt to do some latte art here. So here we are still pouring and shortly we'll, we'll move on to some other activities. Pouring takes a little while. I create kind of a tulip shape and now we're going to be removing the grounds from the filter basket. So we have the concept of removing. There are lots of different kinds of removing actions in Sumo. As you notice, uh, each time we look at a class, there's going to be a first shown a lot of subclasses. Um, and if you look in uh, the browser, you'll see a lot more. You'll also see a lot more formal definition, which we're not really getting to in this definition. Formal definitions in terms of rules and more expressive notions. I uh, have the term of folding. I just folded the towel over in order to do the work. Now I'm using a cheap screwdriver to pull out the filter basket. So a screwdriver is a device. There are many kinds of devices in Sumo. Screwdrivers principally have the purpose, as you see in the axiom there, of rotating screws. But uh, also, as we see in the video, you can use them for other things, all sorts of other things. Now I'm washing. It's a, another case of both cleaning and removing. Uh, bathing is another kind of washing. I'm going to be here removing portions of the filter basket in order, or the porta filter, I should say, in order to complete my cleaning process uh, using a faucet, a normal kitchen faucet. Uh, it's a typical part of a bathroom or a kitchen, and it is a mechanic device, and it's a fluid powered device. Here I'm washing the filter tray. I uh, also notice in the upper right of the browser, we have words from WordNet that are equivalent to the Sumo term. So we make clear the distinction between linguistic elements and programming language labels. Here I'm mostly talking to you about the programming language labels. Uh, filter is another term. So we use a uh, Brita water filter, one of these standard uh, uh, countertop water filters to get us cleaner, better water. I'm going to be lifting the water tray ever so slightly here to squeeze in the basket or the, the tray. And that's it. So just a quick uh, illustration of many terms that are already in Sumo. I didn't have to add any of these things in order to uh, show them to you. And before I started doing this coffee video, they were already in Sumo accumulated over the last 23 years or so of effort here and really a, a valuable resource so you don't have to create all these things from scratch just as with any other modern programming language library you build on stuff to make it efficient to create a lot of new stuff quickly all right that's it hope you enjoyed it